So for volume now, for volume of uh, similar shapes, so it's similar to what we just finished now. Volume of similar shapes. So once it is linear, so linear scale. Okay, let me put this one. Let me put it this way. I'll just give you this. So volume factor, volume factor is equal to linear linear factor raised to power three. You know, when you find volume mm -hmm. of a shape, it should be represented in cubic centimeters or cubic units. So that cube is just yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So if area uh the volume the linear factor of a shape example now linear factor is given to be two ratio five what is the volume factor what's going to be the volume factor mm. so that is means, two over five raised to the power of three yeah, 2 over 5, I mean, everything is power of 3. So that's going to give us 8 all over 125. And that's going to be 8 ratio 125. That's the answer. Is it clear? Now, you know, when we are calculating volume, yes. volume is the same thing as capacity of a solid. So on that, on that base, we are making use of uh solid solids that is three dimensional shapes now talking about three dimensional what shapes so let's look at an example here okay example so we have this the radius The radius of a cylinder of a cylinder of volume two thousand nine hundred and seventy centimeters two is thirty mm. Find the volume of a similar cylinder of radius forty mm. <clears throat> now, if you look at this question, care must be taken. Here, okay. it is a cylinder. We cannot find area of cylinder, or we want to find total surface area, but we can find the volume. We are given that we have a cylinder whose radius is 30 mm, and we have another similar cylinder whose area is 40 mm so this is ratio of corresponding size now so linear factor here from this linear factor the so linear factor here is equal to 30 to 40 so that which is equal to 30 over 40 and that will give us a 3 over 4. Is that clear? Yeah. Are you with me? Um, yes. Uh -huh. So from here we can get volume factor. Volume factor. We then give us 3 over 4 everything squared. So 3 squared is 27. Ah, 3 cube rather. 
cube. We cube it. Don't forget what we have here. We are going to cube under our volume. So that's 27 over 64. And we have been given that if we look at the 30 mm as a volume of so this is mm sorry this is mm three. so as a volume of 290,970 mm cube millimeter cube so we need to now that is the volume of the smaller one because 30 mm is smaller than 40 mm so that means let's what we are looking for now is the volume of the bigger cylinder so let's volume of bigger cylinder let's bigger volume of bigger cylinder is equal to let's say a all right is equal to a so that means the volume given the smaller one which means we are saying 27 all over 64 equals to 2970 all over a because 64 is bigger than 27. i hope i'm making sense yes aha uh -huh. this is a okay let me make it y so that we will not be confused to what to nine we are now going to cross multiply here that will be 27 y equals to 2970 times 64. Divide both are by 27 by 27. So this cancel this. Then y equals to <coughs> so we can divide now 2970 divided by 27. So dig 27 here 1, 27 here 110. So that is 110 times 64 times 64 so that gives 7040 7040 millimeters cube so that is the answer for this so i'm going to give you I'm going to give you work to do. So, are you good to go? Yes, good to go. All right, good. Let me give you one question. Just one question. It won't be more than one, no. So two similar. Every day. Every day. Uh, we wish you the ratio two to five. If the volume of the larger cone. Five centimeters cube. So, what is the volume of the smaller cone? All right, so that's the question.
Are you on it? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm I'm done. <laughs> yes, send it to me. Okay. Now, your mistake is this. You are going to do it again. Are you there? Yes, I am. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you got H over 125. That is correct. 
can see that we are looking for the smaller volume. So that should have been x over 25, not 25 over x. Okay. So that is the mistake to make. So you notice that h is, a, h is smaller than 125, and it's at the top. So the numerator of the second factor must also be x over 25. I hope that is clear. Okay, x over 25. Yes, so it will be 8 over 125 all over x over 25. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop the recording here.